This conference will now be recorded. Right. So in yesterday's class, we have created the master detail application by using the Fieri master detail application template, and this is the output. So here uh, we can able to see uh, the approve and reject buttons. And now on click of approve, I need to make uh, this product to be approved. And if I click reject, so this particular uh, product should get rejected. Okay. So this is what I need to do. Now let's go to the code. First, you need to go to the view where you created the approve and reject buttons. So you created in the detail view. So go to the detail view and come down. And uh, you created the approve button and reject button by using positive action and negative action. And here, when you click on press, you are calling a function on decision. So now you need to implement this function in a controller. So which controller? In the same views controller, which is detail view controller. Now go to the bottom of the code and just write uh, you know, that function as a last. So always write your own functions at the last. So on decision. All right. So this is. This is the on decision function. And now, if you observe on both the buttons, I call the same function. Okay. So, first to get which button you have clicked, so I just depend on a O event parameter. I'll just write variable button text equal to O event dot get source dot get text so this give me gives me which button whatever the button that you click that button's text it will give me okay o even dot get source dot get text now i will check if this particular button text if this button text okay equals to equals to equals to what is it if it is approve okay if it is approve then uh, variable new status equal to initially empty and I will store new status equals to approved. Okay, as a new status, I'm just storing uh, in a variable actually. Else new status equal to rejected. Okay, so this is fine. So no, you you simply no used to have used. Okay, fine. So now, so depending on the button that you have clicked, so you prepared your new status. So now your new status will be either approved or rejected basing on the button that you have clicked. So this information, you need to send it to the uh, backend by using a model.update operation, okay? So you already know how to uh, do your model.update operation. So variable O model equals to uh, this dot get view dot get model. So this will bring you your O data model. So that this concept will be same again. This dot get view dot get model. You get the O data model. And now model dot update operation. Okay. So model dot update operation. On which entity set slash so this entire thing will be the you know same story uh, we have batch 44 demo I will go to the edit controller just to copy 
so this is the model dot update okay so product set and within the round brackets the product id i need to pass and what else i need to pass i need to pass the payload but payload is not ready for us so we have to make it ready and then the success and failure functions so success and error functions okay so this is giving error because uh, uh, unterminated regular expression okay all right so now the expression is correct now it is saying product id is not defined payload is not defined we will define that and this message toast uh, so this library has to be added at the top go to the top and uh, start writing your sap slash m slash message t o a s t toast copy this library keep it here and uh, now come down right so we need the product id as well as we need all the product details basically okay to send it as a payload so how can i get all this product details okay how can you get all the product details so to get all the product details what you need to do is first uh, you need this uh, object to be ready let me give me one second i will tell you so you might have done the element binding so in element binding you will get the product id no oh, even not get parameter object id nothing but our uh, product id so this is our product id but anyway uh, if i need all of them i can so basically i need a s path here mm -hmm. okay get object so basically if i have the product id i can do anything so first we need to get the product id uh, so which is uh, transferred to this particular page in on on object matcher function so in this function we are getting o even dot get parameter object id this object id is nothing but our product id so what i will do i will just store this in a variable this dot underscore product id equals to object id so i just stored in a variable so which is a global variable this dot underscore product id now what i will do i will make use of this product id here okay so all of you observe how i am getting the complete product record here so to if i want to read the complete product record so variable uh product record equals to this dot get view this dot get view get view dot get model dot get model dot there is a function called get data okay and inside the get data so if you pass get data and you just need to pass like this product set of the product id sorry what is this this dot underscore product id
Right. So basically, you know, we have implemented the get entity function in the backend. Yes or no? Get entity, single get entity. So if you observe the URL of the get entity function, so the get entity function contains the entity set and within the round brackets, the product ID. Right. So the same thing you need to pass it here slash product set and within the round brackets, you need to pass the product ID. Okay. So why it is not giving this dot underscore suggestion? Yeah. Then why it has not given here? Control X, Control V. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Now, so what this statement will do, this statement will bring the complete product record and give it to me in this variable. Okay. So let us see if we are getting this or not. Okay. Console dot log. Testing product record. Okay. And write another console.log. The first log console.log is for your uh, you know indication that after this message our product record should get displayed. Okay. So observe all of you observe what I am doing. This dot get view dot get model dot get data. Okay, so from the OData model, I am getting the data of which record. So you need to write slash your entity set name and within the round brackets, you need to give this one. This will go and call get entity method and gives you only one record. Okay, so that record you got it in a variable product record. Now let us see. So what we are getting in this uh, product record and uh, this dot underscore product ID here I need to pass so however the payload is not yet ready so I will just comment this code and save this refresh your application and test it in second Yeah, so let us test it. Hit F12. Clear the console. Now uh, click any button, doesn't matter. So I clicked on approve. So you can see the testing product record and you can able to see uh, product ID, product price, currency code, status. So everything you got. Okay, so you got all this complete record. Okay, and that is what I want basically. So so from this record, I can, you know, it's an object and I can get each and every individual, uh, you know, properties like product price, okay, product name. So everything is there here, right? So I can get the values. So it is giving me the complete record. Now prepare your payload. So variable payload, variable payload equals to so this should be your payload so in my payload what should be the left hand side values the left hand side values should be as it is with the odata properties okay and right hand side values i'm just removing the right hand side values the right hand side values must be the values of that particular product details okay now my complete product details are present in this variable product record so write prd record dot dot so from this record dot in which objects it is they are present they are present in corresponding again prd id prd name prd price prd status prd description currency code like that okay so you need to give the same field names here because the data is present in this particular object. So that object dot property name. So my property names are the same. Copy this. Put a comma and then copy this. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay. 
product name product description product price currency code control c control v currency code coming to status so status we have you know depending on the approve and reject we created a new status variable so this we need to update with new status the remaining fields as it is okay so that's it now one comment this code over okay now let us remove these not required so i have the new status now approved and rejected and i prepared my payload here my payload is ready and i am calling model dot update operation i am passing the payload and everything is fine so let us see if this works or not all right so this is no ud made i am just approving it so the product has successfully approved updated and you can see it is approved okay so let me just go to another this is also no ud made so you can see okay i am rejecting this and you can see product updated successfully and you can see rejected immediately and again this one no ud made i am approving this approve and it has changed it to approve okay so basically the fiery master detail applications uh, master detail application template is a template so which contains uh, you know uh, a master section and a detail section so the end user if he if the client is having a requirement to have some master uh, you know some items at the left hand side and the uh, item details along with the line item details okay so when you click the item some header details okay and some line item details and then after seeing this to take a decision yes at that moment only you can use this master detail application so if you ask me in real time yes i have worked in real time for a inspection quality application for a client uh, uh, called nokia siemens so for they you know they are getting some materials and uh, they have performed some inspections on each and every material so though uh, this is nothing but the material and the line items are nothing but the set of uh, inspections that you have done on that particular material or nothing but line items now the inspection manager will be there who is quality manager so this application will be used by quality manager whatever i developed so he will see the inspection results so basing on the inspection results so he will either approve or reject it okay so that is we have developed uh, this master detail application for that client right so now let's move on to the next uh, template so which is called a hey, uh, rajwan yeah. i have a question Yes, yes. Since uh, uh, in this uh, entity you are updating only one field, right? Yeah. So, uh, is it necessary to get all the entities here to update just one field, or you can have a, in if you if you see a typical uh, SQL query, you can say set update, right? One field. Yeah, you you can you can also pass only this field, not a problem. Okay, so normally just for uh, safe side, we give all the properties. uh just yeah. to avoid any kind of uh, <clears throat> this one but you can also pass whatever the field that you want to update just that set of key fields would be should be good enough yeah sure okay thank you yeah uh so what is the function import actually i so function import uh, once upon a time we used it to uh, you know uh, use but now it, now uh, the function import is not not at all we are using so uh, we are using only these crud operations and uh, what any functionality has to be rooted through uh, these only so yes i agree in 2014 15 uh, the function import functionality is there so basically that is also a kind of 
you will write you know just like CRUD operation you will write a function and uh, you can call that function that's it but now it was ruled out it's already you know uh, deprecated actually so it is not used now all right now let us uh, go to our next template so which is fiery master detail cred template so fiery master detail cred template is one of the powerful the most powerful template introduced in the year 2016 so if you see the web id before 2016 this master detail cred template is not there okay so to make our make the end users job who are not familiar with javascript and all to make their life very easy sap has brought up this particular fiery master detail template into the picture okay so this kind of template is not there in any other technology okay the most powerful template in sap ui5 is fiery master detail cred template it performs all the cred operations for you without writing even a single line of code zero lines of code here okay so now we are going to implement this fiery master detail cred template so give me one second but this is having a small prerequisite uh, in the o data let me just open the o data first actually when it got introduced in 2016 we we were very much surprised how can he bring such a powerful uh, you know the template so this is advantage this is having one advantage and one disadvantage advantage is for the back end developers disadvantage is for the front end developers cgw so give me one second uh, so you need to go to your uh, products entity not here okay this is fine properties just go to the project edit this so it will also you know the labels will be taken from here for the form product uh, form so give the spaces here product name product description and this is a uh, price so you can write uh, you know some meaningful name you write here because these will be taken as your labels product price okay and this is fine currency code and status okay this is one thing and uh, second thing is all these properties should be written as creatable updatable creatable updatable creatable updatable creatable updatable creatable updatable creatable updatable okay otherwise uh, the crud operations will so not work sorry jo yeah yes yes so by the checking this checkbox Yes, yes. Yeah. So, because the template what it does, uh, so the CRUD master detail template. So, since you are not writing the code, it just depend on depends on these uh, you know properties and these uh, uh, you know creatable property, updatable property. If these are checked, then only the create operation will work. If this is not checked, the create operation will not work. Only for template based application. For your normal application, you are writing the code, so it will compulsory work. Uh, but uh, the template based application if this creatable is not checked then it won't perform the create operation because you are saying it is not creatable okay so then there is no meaning in creating only this applicable only for that template based applications not for others okay so you need to remember that point okay and now select this project and generate the runtime objects
Yeah, it has been done. <coughs> now right click new project from sorry new project from template. So you need to select a different uh, Fiery template now. Fiery master detail <coughs> CRUD template. If it is not available, you need to go to the features and select all categories. And uh, yeah, so this is CRUD master detail application, the most powerful template among all of them. Okay, so click next and project name. You can give Oasis Batch 44 Fiery EMD CRUD. Okay, so title products CRUD namespace com dot oasis dot training or you can also give the app name. So our app name is product CRUD. <coughs> okay, description just copy and do the same okay and then click next <coughs> select the uh, destination system so our destination system is this one and o data service so our o data service is this one copy this paste it here so click test ask for the connection as user Okay, and it will load your uh, OData service and click next. Yeah, so object collection. So you need to select product set. So product ID will be automatically taken and title. So same things. So whatever you want as a same thing, but you will get CRUD operations also. See, this is plus edit delete. Okay. So title, uh, I want product name as a title, product price. So unit of measure, currency code, and uh, supplier, supplier ID, title, you can take supplier name, numeric attribute we don't have. So line item, supplier location. So same thing as that of yesterday. Okay, so just click next and finish. So the template selection, everything is same, but it offers CRUD operations. So you can directly run this, select the project, click on run and uh, So this template, uh, you know, uh, having a speciality like this shows you the output, how it looks after you click, you put your application in the launch pad. Okay. So in your Fiery launch pad, after you keep this application in the Fiery launch pad, how it looks. So in the same way, it, this will also show you the output. See, this is our application product spread. So click the tile and your application will open. Okay, so you can see your application here. All right, now, uh, so the initial basic output will be the same, but it offers CRUD operations, so that is a speciality. So let me create a, a new product here. So for example, just click on plus, so you will get a product screen automatically. So these labels you need to change as that I have shown you in your last class. So you need to go to I18N, uh, so even this one you need to change, product set, okay? So these labels will be present in I18N, so go to I18N, control F, product set, and wherever product set is there, remove it and replace with product list, okay? So same concept as that of yesterday. So now I'm creating product 111, okay? So product name, uh, let us take uh, bike, okay? So 125cc bike, product price, some 60,000, 60,000, for example. 
okay so currency code uh, nr status what is the status approved okay so click on save so new product should get created okay so click on save so new product got created you can see bike immediately okay if you go to your back end and check the new product will be ready okay so product 111 bike okay so it automatically performs all these for example you want to edit it so click on edit so details are there now in place of bike i am writing car so i don't know the cubic capacity of car so might be so i'm just writing car and this might be more than i will keep one more six lakhs and click on save for example rejected i'll keep our capital save this so this has been updated to car okay so you can see this is car now and in the back end if you refresh your table so this has been changed to car now if you want to delete this click on delete so the items will be deleted okay and it gone car has been deleted and now refresh your table car is gone so all the crud operations will work so without writing even a single line of code so this is but if you are working with a lower versions of uh, you know uh, web id then this particular template is not there actually okay so but uh, you know by the way if you take the license of web id so definitely all these templates will be there because when you take the license latest version of web id only you will get always okay so that is advantage if you have web id people uh, people don't know people say i use eclipse okay if you if you want to do this with eclipse do you know how many days it will take huh? so without people doesn't know the features of web id and that's why you know they say we can develop using eclipse so eclipse is first of all eclipse way of development is ruled out and eclipse doesn't provide these templates and moreover the structure that you get in eclipse is very very older okay so that's the power of this web id uh, this one i have a question here yes can you just go to the can you go to the output please the results yeah okay so the formatting the currency formatting like yeah. uh, is, there any, is there any setting that like you know your thousand separation is not there uh, this will be uh, uh, automatically done by the odata model actually so it basically you know uh, in sap ui odata follows a, a, a you know format for uh, this particular uh, currency actually so it automatically comes along with that uh, currency so currency. At the, so i have to do that the order travel level for that the formatting you you no need you know if you are using the template you no need to do anything it automatically uh, you know done for you but but here like you know, thousand separator is not there right like you know, just see like okay. it's so, like you know, uh, okay you are you are telling about this one yeah like you know you see the decimals are there but like thousand separator is not 50000 like it's supposed to be 50 comma okay. zero dot zero zero i understand i understand uh, but uh, i think you know this is something which uh, uh, whatever the data that is stored in the back end okay so in the same way it will come here actually but but if you see the back end like you know if you go to the table it you will in the display mode you will see at the database level it never stores anything it just stores like you know all the values like you know see here decimal right, right. separate yes 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 yeah agree agree yeah understand uh because particularly when the figure is bigger number like you know user will always get confused whether it's like you know correct 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 i completely agree vijay so 
actually uh, there will be a small setting vijay uh, you know to get this uh, you know kama uh, i will just tell you in in your next class okay, okay. so small setting okay. will be there that's it okay 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 right uh, so that is basically the master detail crud template guys uh, so here absolutely if your requirement is only crud operations yes you no need to do anything okay and uh, uh, so one more point i would like to say here so let me run this one so this is our uh, application which we developed from the scratch all right right so here the template whatever the template uh, when you click on plus it creates only the product it performs crud operations only plain crud operations not the deep insert so let's say your client requirement is he wants crud operations but along with the supplier items also then what you need to do is so whatever we have done individually in our application see below the product form we created a supplier table okay so you also need to go to this particular you know view and below you need to create the copy and paste the same code i will also tell you what code to copy so go to the view create view so this will be same product form okay so this is the same product form product id product name product description status now below this this is also a simple form layout so below this simple form you need to copy this particular table okay so step number 1 copy this step number 2 so above that table uh, in the header toolbar there is a add row button so for add row you need to add this function in this particular views controller okay so this is one function on on click on save you need to add re remove uh, that particular save code and you need to keep this one so only three things you need to do in the view you need to keep this table if you want line items if you don't want line items forget about it okay so whatever the template is generating that is full and final code for the crud operations only if you want the line items also then only you need to go to this particular uh, create view this is called create view actually so go go to this and paste the table code whatever the table code we already written in our uh, our own uh, project so this is step number 1 step number 2 copy these two functions that's it okay so this will if you do these three steps also it will work for uh, with create deep insert also okay so that's how we do in your uh, real time but if they want only for the plain crud operations not required at all okay so this is your master detail crud template so we have one more template in fiery uh, so which is called a fiery worklist template but we don't use this template at all because it doesn't have you know much importance uh, Uh, we we use either master detail template or master detail crud template only so but since i know it is there i just uh, you know give you uh, I, i will just show you so normally we call this as a useless template so go to new project from template and uh, you can see worklist fiery worklist application so what this worklist and what is a use actually work list means a list of work you need to do okay so for example uh, vijay has applied applied a leave so that will come as a work list okay one item i need to approve his leave and some other person has uh, requested some, for a desktop or something so that also came to me and some other person has done something else that is another work list so the list of work that you need to do is called work list okay so you can just see uh, the list of works that you want to do okay so this is how it looks 
and uh, if I, if you click on any of the line item, so it just show its details. Its details. It doesn't have any line item. It doesn't have line item concept at all. Okay. For example, Vijay applied leave. I that item will come and sit in a you know as an item. I just click this item. I can see. Uh, okay. When when he applied leave, what is the reason for leave? So the, those details I can see in a simple form. And then if I want to take the decision, I can take. That's it. Approve is it. That's it. Okay. So in this so case, the, like how many how many entity sets uh, you normally have? See right now in the first screen you see product name and uh, what is that units of something. Okay. And next details. So like are you having a parent child table or only one table where you you are showing only two fields on the first screen and the remaining on the second screen? This is not two tables. This is one table with two columns. This is product name. This is units in stock. Okay. If you press one, uh, if you open, if you click on any of the item, you are saying okay. you have details. It goes to the next page and it displays that that particular product details. So th that is a different entity set. Though. What do you mean? Uh, Prasad. Uh -huh. So you are asking again the basic question. See, no, no, this no, is no. product. When I, it's your no, display. That's when, what I'm when I, uh, One second. When I click this one, uh, tell me how many entity sets from which we displayed this. One is laptop. That is fine. Uh, the products. One is uh, suppliers, right? This is products only right now. This is completely products. So that yeah. also same. It will also uh, display completely from only one entity set. Okay. 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 Uh, so let us quickly come one second. Give me one second, guys. Okay, where is this? Yeah. So I'm selecting Fiery Worklist. So the selection, everything will be same, guys. This is batch 44 Worklist. Control C, title. So I'm just keeping the same. Com dot versus dot versus batch 44 Worklist. Description. So click next. Service URL, same. UHP and direct. And uh, more data service URL, where is this? Yeah. Control C, Control V, test. Click next. So application type must be standalone and uh, collection product set, product ID, title, product name I want as a title. Numeric attribute, product price, and this is currency code. So if you observe that employee it itself not giving you line item, you know, line item entity. But if you see master detail, so it has given the option to select line items also like you know two suppliers but the template itself will not support because work list application the purpose of work list application is it it just pull the data from one entity set only and it will display <coughs> all the products and the details if you click on the item okay so click next and finish <coughs> but mostly you don't use this uh, you will go for uh, fiery master detail instead of this one okay so run this application Okay, so this is how it looks all the products. Okay, and if you click on the item So it goes to the next page and it shows the basic details like this So here you can create a you know simple form and show the details and footer same approve and reject button you can create Okay, and approve same code and reject same code. Okay, so only but Only only just you know Yeah, complete yeah, yeah, only this uh, uh, template allows only two columns to be displayed on the first screen, or can you, you can add? Edit, you can you you can edit any number of columns. Okay, the oh. way we have done in uh, detail page, <clears throat> so you can go to this. Uh, you know, uh, you can go to this view. So this view is 
So this is the called work list view. So you can open this and there will be a table code here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. so you can see the columns. So yesterday I edited, right? I kept four oh. columns. Okay, oh. same thing, you can do it here also. Oh, okay. 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 But uh, mostly we don't use this template in the real time. Uh, we go either with the master detail or master detail thread template only. So basically this is, uh, again, you know, the usage wise, this is one of the same use as that of theory master detail. So keep all the items here, click on the item, whatever you want, see the details and take the decision in the footer. So again, if you want to show the footer here, the same, show footer code, okay? So if you, this is called object view and uh, here you have show footer. One second, not here, here. Show footer true. Okay, same concept guys, show footer true, you need to write and whatever you have done in a detail page of master detail application, the same thing you can copy and paste here. Show footer true will give you a footer. Okay. And uh, I have a question, Rijwan. Yes. yes Suppose this is a work list uh, where I'm seeing it, okay? Assume okay. Uh, maybe you updated or maybe you created a new record, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. New session, okay? Uh, is there any way that automatically this gets refreshed to me? None of the real-time application, no, not only this technology. Take any technology, the web browser, uh for for a web application so if you are creating a record from the back end table application has to be refreshed manually it won't automatically come but if you create the record through the application okay just like the way we have done theory master detail crud crud application if you create the record through the application it automatically updates but i i you simply go to the table and insert the record uh, not so table will, okay you open your session through the browser, Fiori app. Okay, I opened my Fiori app, okay? Okay, okay. Where I'm in the work list, okay? I can see, I'm seeing that uh, list, maybe 10 records are there, okay? Okay. Now okay. you are you are using a CRUD operation on the application where you created an entity, okay? You created, uh, I created a new record, okay? Uh, new record through the app, okay? It's not okay. backend, okay? Through the application. Okay. So like my work list, does it automatically refresh? No, 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 no. Find that, no. okay, the record is added by uh, Rizwan, so that I need to display 11 records. No, no, no. It, see, uh, you are creating into the database. So it will go and sit in the database, but your, uh, your list will not get updated. So your application has to be refreshed. Then only the data gets updated. Okay. okay. But if you create the record, so you can see it immediately. Yeah, I understand that. I can see, but uh, if like multiple users are working, right? So work list means no, I thought that maybe will not have that facility that we we no, no. maybe. See, work list is just a one kind of template. It just you know gives you a two pages, one in the master, you know one this one, another that one. See, uh, theory master detail, master detail cred, and this uh, work list. All these are templates. That's it. So can you force uh, automatic it, refresh uh, for this uh, URL or this application on a timely basis? We we don't do uh, like this. Uh, uh, no, what I'm saying is maybe the CRUD operations are different, but this is a work list. What I'm thinking is maybe every two minutes try to refresh so that if somebody gets uh, inserted or updated any data for, for this uh, entities or entity models. None of, no, no, no. None of the UFA theory applications we do like that. Okay, so we never do like that. Take standard applications also. Use show me one application which is refreshing automatically. I will resign my job. Okay. Okay. Huh. So do it we have facility? Like that. No, 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 no. We don't have. We don't have that facility to automatic refresh timely basis in UFA. Okay, so we don't have like that. And even in none of the standard applications also which are given by SAP. Those are also not having such a facility. You will get only quick buzz, okay, or where you want to see the score for every second. For those applications, they will kept, okay. So it, got, you know, it lost uh, every time it has has to hit the database, and it has to, you know, the application will, uh, the the application purpose is not to again hit the database, and you know, uh, it it will. Uh, but have there a bad is, impact on the application. Yeah, I understand, but there is a reason to hit it, right? Because basically, See, you're seeing, yeah. what, what I'm saying is, even in the workplace, you will take the decision. When you are clicking approve, if the application is getting refreshed, okay, so again, you, your work will stop actually. Your application is getting refreshed and it will reload again. 
okay whenever i am going to click on reject let's say the application is reloading you can't be able to do that then you will get irritated why this why this is again and again is getting refreshed see the, those applications which are only display purpose you are not doing any actions like click buzz you you see only the score so those applications will reflect you know refresh automatically for every uh, five seconds so the only display purpose but here you are taking action when the user is taking action he is clicking on approve button and the re page is reloading you will get irritated but uh, i think uh, in because we implemented my inbox okay uh, for the workflows where like but even uh, my inbox yeah. will also not get refreshed automatically for every 5 seconds like that no 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 but uh, it's uh, i don't know what the mechanism behind it but uh, uh, if you already have it in uh, in your mobile maybe your five work items are displaying okay if somebody raises a request you can show six so there should be some mechanism where sap no uh, you yeah. can keep on refresh button okay you can keep on refresh button on click of the refresh button yes you can do but uh, everything done automatically will not happen Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I I have to jump into the another class. Okay. So it's already late. Uh. Okay. So we'll meet in tomorrow's class. Okay. Fine, guys. Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh. Uh. I, I will update you the tomorrow's timing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.